Hello friends, just want to give you an update as to why our posting schedule has been a little bit delayed in the last two weeks. It is because we're working on a major project called The Secret Sauce. If you have been following us in our Facebook group or my Instagram handle, you'll definitely see that we're working on a brand new series called Secret Sauce, which is what we have been doing in the last two months. And basically the premise of the show is that we interview successful restauranteurs in Vancouver about their philosophy to success and how they operate a business that is thriving through COVID. And at the same time, we dive into some of the numbers. These are the things that no one has ever shared. And because of my personal relationship with a lot of, a lot of these restauranteurs, they're willing to share it with, with me. And now I'm sharing it with all of you guys. So then that way you guys can learn a thing or two about how you can actually run a successful restaurant. Now, the idea of running a show like this and to invest tens and thousands of dollars into the production is so then that way I can create something that is valuable, something that is highly produced, something that can help you throughout this whole process. And because I'm attaching my name to it and because I have been working so hard on it and because of the fact that this show is launching next week, the pressure is definitely building up. We have been working with a numerous amount of vendors. We have media kits, created media kits with shrimp pasta, pesto pasta. We created our own secret sauce. It's a hot sauce that we created. We also had wine sponsors and we reached out to a lot of PR firms, journalists, influencers. All together, we're working with more than 40 different peoples and partners. So you can already imagine the coordination that we have been putting in behind the scenes with Julie, Jason, and the whole crew. Now, since we're launching next week, it is crunch time right now, and I am getting stressful. I, I really am, and I guess yesterday actually was my first day that I felt doubt. I felt doubt in my show because my friend Andrew, um, he came over and we we're working on a script together because we want to create a commercial for this show. And the more stuff that we're doing, the more, the more that we can do to make the show better, and which is the reason why we're doing more and more stuff. And this project initially started off with, let's say, 30%, and now it grew to 100%. So definitely, it's just taking more and more work altogether. But yeah, so Andrew was giving me feedback on the script and I showed him our pilot episode. And he, he enjoyed it and he was, it was great, but then to a certain extent, he gave me a feedback about the nature of the show that really made me doubt myself and the whole production altogether. Um, to a point where this thought of whether, po whether I should even post it, uh, it was that bad. And I think as a leader at this time, like I, I need to have this fearless, I need to be this fearless leader to, to show Jason who's putting in like tens and tens of hours into this and Julie to show them that, hey, you know what, believe in this vision. We're, we're all going towards this vision. It will pay off. It, like the gold is under the rainbow kind of deal. So when I have these thoughts, I contemplate whether to share them with the team or not and to be vulnerable. Um, and I choose to share because I think that it's good to be authentic. It's good to let people in so then that way they can suggest and they can actually provide a helping hand. And at the same time, there's empathy and there's more there's more, they understand that, hey, you know what, we're in it together. Um, and that my leader is not just a blind cow, just charging ahead, neglecting everything else that is in the way, thinking that the world is made of rainbows, you know? Um, so just being a little bit more of a realist, um, which is the reason why I choose to let you guys in as well, to, to show you some of my vulnerabilities that I have these thoughts, these doubts in mind as well. And, I have moments that actually right now that I feel like pulling the plug and not sharing with you guys because I worry that the production is not as good as I think it would be and I would disappoint people and all these crazy thoughts that are going on in here. 
Now, something that I know about myself is the fact that if I don't feel doubt and if I don't feel scared, if I don't feel fear, I would not have the ability to create a better product, a better project or a better business. And the reason why is because if I'm so focused on blindly charging away just straight ahead of me, I am exposed on all areas. And if I don't have the time to reflect and time to actually see the areas where I'm exposed, then I can't do what I need to do right now to cover my butt or to enhance the product or to 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 make sure that all angles are taken care of it's a different story if i know for a fact that hey you know what this series is flawed in this way and i choose to accept it and if i can come to terms with it and when the feedback comes that hey you know what your show is not that great because of this blind sight or because of this issue but if i already know about it then i Knowing what I know now, there's nothing I can do about it, which is the reason why I would make peace with it. That's fine. But if I don't know about it, I would feel really, really bad because I would feel like I'm blindsided. I would feel like I left my team behind. I let them down by not being a leader that takes into all the different variables into account, which makes me feel like that. That's why fear. And that's why doubt is a really great thing because it forces me to reflect. All in all, the reason why, once again, I'm sharing this with you is because I want to let you guys in to this whole process and this whole journey of Secret Sauce. I want you guys to see that, you know what, a week before launch, it's, it's not rainbows all the time. It's, it's tough work. The doubts are here. It's crunch time for everyone. It's, it's all hands on deck and, and the stress will only build from here onwards and that it's normal to feel like this. It's normal to feel fearful, doubt and everything. But knowing the fact that, you know, I have paved my way, I have done all the work that I can, knowing what I know now, like there's only so much I can do. Um, and I trust that I'm good enough to be able to pull this off. Um, but yeah, I think you guys will enjoy this show. I think it's valuable. It is actually tremendously valuable to get insights from people who are super successful and that they're willing to share with us their principles, their philosophies, how they hire, how they started, some of the str struggles that they have, pitfalls that they have, and even their numbers. How much did they make? How much is rent? How much uh, is labor? How much is their average order value? and how much was the whole investment and all these things get to share with you guys. So then that way, this acts as a great insight for you to create your own business. Um, yeah, so that's the reason why we're shooting this video. I hope you, you, you understand what I'm trying to say and, and, and I hope you do enjoy this series. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below and make sure you guys subscribe along the journey because this series will be very, very valuable for you and you do not want to miss a single episode out there. So definitely subscribe along the journey. You'll see behind the scenes. You'll see uh, how we are building the show. You'll see the actual show. And all in all, this is a, a great product that we're creating. Uh, and on top of that, I would love to see some of your feedback. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys in the next episode.